What up YouTube? My name is Noel and I'm here again with another NBA 2K16 My League video. So we're done with game one and we're off to game two of the second round of the NBA playoffs. And currently uh, we already have game one wins. Uh, for my end, of course, I won game one. For the Houston Oklahoma series, Houston gets game one. And for Atlanta and Milwaukee, it's the Milwaukee Bucks. Miraculously, the seventh seed got the first win on the second round of the playoffs. So it's now between the Cavaliers and the Hornets. Let's try to see who would win this game. So there you go. Wow. The Charlotte Hornets took game one. There are a lot of upsets in the east side right now. So we're off now to game two. And let's try to see if we'll be able to end the series right now. So here you go, tip-off is about to start and during this time I was actually quite nervous because I'm going up against the defending champs. Now for the first round of playoff, I was quite confident that I was going to win but this time around I was still quite anxious because again, this is the Golden State Warriors you're talking about and even though the difficulty of this game is at pro, there's a huge chance they will be able to beat me. By the way, there is Roy Hibbert with a dunk and we scored the first two points of the game so yeah as what i mentioned i was quite nervous that the warriors might be able to get back up from the series here comes kobe getting up dunking the ball not feeling the effects of old age here comes kobe again bringing the ball i would like to believe if the lakers made the playoffs kobe would really be playing like this the same level that he played on his last game against the Utah Jazz when he scored 60 points and even so let's say Kobe did play like that or played like that the entire season I think they would have a huge chance to make the playoffs but eventually you know injury got uh, I mean old age caught up with Kobe and he couldn't really perform at his very best because at the end of the day it's going to take a toll on him and hey I can't really blame the guy so as you can see right now, score is tied 15 all. Here comes Swaggy P posting up. Passes to Lance Nance, gets the ball back. Step back, three-pointer, and makes a shot. Swaggy P doing his thing. Here you go, that's the end of the first quarter. The Lakers are up by three points in this crucial game two. Now the Lakers already have a win it's just that you know this will pretty much end the series if they win this game but for the Golden State it is a must win because it will keep their season alive here comes Randall by the way where the massive dunk Ooh, nasty nasty dunk right there with Julius Randall That's Clay Thompson missing a shot here comes D'Angelo Russell running the ball there you go. Usually I have D'Angelo Russell. Here comes Anthony Brown, by the way, with a three. Normally I do have D'Angelo Russell run the ball, and if he's fast enough, and if he escapes the defender, then he goes straight to the rim. But if he gets clumped down, that's the time that you know I try to take things a little bit slower. So just like for that one, forces the issue. Good thing. Who's that? Julius Randle was able to get the rebound. All right, here comes another missed shot. Comes Anthony Brown running the ball, passes to D'Angelo Russell. Hook shots, and it gets in. I don't know what I did differently from the first round to this round because in the first round it was clearly a D'Angelo Russell show, but for this time, I don't know, maybe I just felt that Kobe should be the one running the offense. Here is, by the way, bothered but still makes the shot. So yeah, I really wanted him to take over the game. Jordan Clarkson with a massive dunk. There, there are numerous times in which I get plays like this. The entire middle floor is quite open. Here comes Roy Hibbert with a nasty block. Here comes Nick Young with a massive dunk as well. So yeah, as what I mentioned, I, I do get a lot of plays where Jordan Clarkson just runs and the entire middle floor is, air, is open. And, it's a wide open shot for him. Here comes Lance Nance with an open shot of his own three-pointer. And as of now, the Lakers are up by 10, clearly schooling the defending champs. There is no scenario in real life 
that will probably show you the Lakers. I mean, I know March 6, 2016, the Lakers beat the Warriors, but that was because Steph Curry was having a bad game. Pretty much the entire Warriors team is having a bad game. Here comes Kobe, wide open for three. You don't let Kobe get an open three. So yeah, um, there are really times in which I feel that the Warriors don't play their game and that's the reason why they would lose and you know they could have gone undefeated if they really wanted to but hey um you know human as they are they are just days in which they don't really play that well and again that's what i mentioned there, there's no particular scenario in which i would feel that the lakers would really clump them down in a series just like this but hey this is a video game <laughs> and as you can see right there Nick Young with an alley-oop from Anthony Brown and the Lakers are up by 10 points and with okay so yeah we're up by 10 points second squad really taking care of the ball here comes Anthony Brown asking for a screen passes to Lance Nance Passes to Brown again. Anthony Brown is a reliable guy for me. He steps up when he needed to. I'm swaggy P. Open to. But Brandon Bass commits a foul, but it's fine. Alright, here comes Swaggy P. Passes to Lance Nance. Here comes Brandon Bass. Swaggy P. With a jumper. And the Lakers are now up by how many points let's see all right 52 39 if my math's not incorrect it's 10 13 points yeah 13 points they're up by 13 all right so we're now in the fourth quarter and the warrior season is in the brink of what's the right term to use it's about to end it's pretty much it's the safest way to say it. But again, they're still putting up a fight here. Here comes Swaggy P with a three. Just devastating. Woo. No remorse whatsoever. Okay. Here comes Meta World Peace. Jumper makes it. <laughs> you know, I, I really have a huge debt to to Ron Artest or to Meta World Peace, whatever you call him, because of what he did with the 2010 final series between the Lakers and the Celtics, especially in Game 7 when he was clutching. Really owe that guy a lot. Because of him, he helped the Lakers win that very tough series. Here comes Kobe, by the way, running the ball. There's a screen from Randall. Posting up. Fade away, misses it, but here comes Randall with a rebound. Good thing he was there. No one defending him, and he was clear to get that rebound. All right, here comes Kobe, passes to Jordan Clarkson again. Wow. This is really becoming a huge blowout for the Lakers. Here comes, oh, nice pass from Russell to Roy Hibbert. It's too, that is too difficult to do in real life. You know, the, the, the space that you have to commit that pass. And there you go. Jordan Clarkson misses a three. And that pretty much ends the game. 67-51. The Lakers win by 16 points. You got to love that. Here comes Kobe celebrating, beating up the defending champs. Although, to be fair, this isn't really the defending champs. They didn't really play like the defending champs. And here we are with the player, Jordan of the game. Sorry, player Jordan. What? Jordan player of the game. Sorry. Kobe Bryant with 16 points, 1 assist, 2 rebounds. God, I just had a brain fart right there. As you can see right there, Kobe just dominating the game. Jumper after jumper. Just, just typical Kobe, man. That's just really how Kobe plays. I know how to use Kobe. I've played him for like the last 15 years or so. So there you go. Jordan player of the game. And
and that wraps up game two of the Lakers Warriors round two matchup so let's now check the box score for this game now for the Warriors it was Steph Curry leading the way with 18 points followed by Andre Iguodala with 12 and then Clay Thompson with six as much as the Warriors played very well well it wasn't really enough to beat the Los Angeles Lakers as you can see here top scores of the game both Nick Young and Kobe Bryant of course as what you all just saw it was Kobe Bryant winning or awarded the player of the game although Nick Young was the top scorer it was Kobe who was all over the court again 16 points 12 rebounds um, three uh, wait one out of two on a three-point line but Nick Young of course shot more two out of three and then you have here Roy Hibbert, uh, Julius Randle, and Jordan Clarkson, uh, and the next scorers. Uh, it was quite underwhelming. D'Angelo Russell, the player of the game for the entire first round, only scored two points. I don't know. He he just wasn't on the court, or he just wasn't making as many, or he wasn't taking that much shots as he usually does. So, anyways. So another sweep, I was expecting to have a very tight series, but eventually I was able to blow out the Warriors on game two. It started off really, really, um, what do you call this? It started really, ah crap, I'm looking for it, competitive. It started very competitive, but eventually I was able to beat the Lake, the Warriors, 67-51. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. And if you would like to watch the Lakers go and chase a championship, totally opposite in real life, please do subscribe. Again, my name is Noel.